When we left Bosnia, each of us had one bag with them. I grew up in Palestine. It's a conflict-ridden country, and life uh, has been very difficult. I was about to turn on the faucet to drink some water, and my mother rushed in and said, don't drink the water! My village didn't have electricity, and my siblings and I had to start with kerosene lamp at night. So, um, at the age of 21, I had an accident, a motorcycle accident. Uh, the rebels, for all intents and purposes, were using us as human shields. This is why I worked for the World Bank. This is the difference in perspective I bring to, this, to, the, to the work in the World Bank. I'm from a developing country. I am from such a country, I, I lived through the civil war in that country. And uh, for me, this is real. With a personal history as a refugee and also as, a, as an immigrant, coming to the World Bank, I really have an affinity toward, toward development. We are, we are really committed to development and whatever the price is. Development to me is, uh, is the only path I know. Very committed people at the bank. Good electricity, reliable electricity, reliable supply of clean water can really change the destiny of countries. The achievement I am proud of and that keeps inspiring me in my work is setting up a youth volunteering project from scratch in Lebanon. Trying to solve very big problems uh, of local communities. Major efforts to improve the livelihood of the Somali people. The support we provided in Haiti after the January 2010 earthquake the city was able to uh, save as much as the amount of the loan. It changed the way it provided education in slums, and it really was able to save enough to invest in basic infrastructure, in health, in education. When I encounter people, poor people, beneficiaries from our projects, I feel that uh, there is some kind of easier communication between us because we understand that we are all facing difficulties, different difficulties, but uh, difficulties in our lives. If, if there was a girl out there who was like a little me struggling, but has access to education, for me that was my escape, literally and figuratively. The impact I really wanted to make was in developing countries, because I said in some senses that's where my heart is. That's who I want to help more, and that there are not enough people helping them. To me, it's a, a meeting of heart and mind. Every time I go to the field and I talk to people, beneficiaries or project participants, I, I get a, a very big sense of humbleness and also a, a lot of emotion around what's coming in the future. Because that kid slumbered out in some refugee camp without any clothes, barely able to feed, that kid could be somebody greater tomorrow. It's the reality of me. I mean, I'm not talking about a story. I have lived that existence. That's why I work for the World Je Bank. Travaille pour la Banque mondiale. Trabajo en el Banco mundial. That's why I work for the World Bank. I work for the World Bank. World Bank. And that's why I work for the World, -World Bank. Bank. That's why I work for the World Bank. That's why I work for the World Bank. That's why I work for the World Bank. Group.